Hey boys, welcome back to some more Banning Korea Ashes Cricket Career Mode. Taking on the Melbourne Renegades at the MCG of all places. But um, yeah, looking at the, the Renegades, they've got Pants in there. Narayan is, uh, is in the team, who's going to be a handful. Um, I think Wade was obviously back there. Um, yeah, no, not a bad, not a bad outfit, but, um, yeah, hopefully, I can, <laughs> that's who it is, so I kept wondering who the hell, our, I'm pretty sure it's Bancroft, the captain, and I kept thinking, who the hell is this random dude at the coin toss, because it doesn't look anything like him, but, yeah, they obviously just done, uh, they didn't have the face scan for Bancroft, because <laughs> it doesn't look anything like him, but, yeah, um, back to the action here. Unfortunately, we lost last game. Um, we're in good touch, though. Can we make it a hat-trick of, uh, of 50s to start our Big Bash debut comp? Uh, it'd be handy. It'd be nice. But honestly, I mean, the main thing I want is just to, to progress, get some wins, because we are still out of the top four. I want to get into the finals, and... The, you, know, you know, the season goes pretty quickly, so if we lose a couple more, it's going to be, it's going to be tough to, to sneak in there. We have to start, we have to start getting a couple of back-to-back -back wins under our belt as a good, uh, tidy first over here. It's probably good bowling first. It probably is good, uh, good bowling first because we get, we know what we got to chase as we appeal for that one. Bit of a, bit of an ambitious shout. We're not going to, not going to challenge that one. Not a good, not a, not a good challenge, uh, but knowing what we got to chase, and then um, you know we can play accordingly. I think that's probably the better out. It's probably it's probably more safe, honestly, because we can't batting first. You can score big, like if we go big and you know we get like two, well over two hundred, like it's gonna be a tough chase for the opposition. But we don't, we might not need to go that hard, and then if we, if we get out for like 50, someone has got some good zip, jeez, only 135 Ks, but it's, it's gone through pretty, pretty nicely, and, uh, that is something I've put up as well, I, uh, I, I think it's, it'll be later, but I do have the pace bowling, I've talked about this before, but I think I had it up to like 70, I think the default is on like 50 or 55, so that's like the the default. If you go into gameplay modify, because probably a lot of people don't know about this, or maybe they've never really tried it. But if you go into gameplay modifiers, you can you can adjust all sorts. Like it is the one really good thing about the game. You can really customize everything about it, honestly, um, which is good. But it does allow. I put the pace up to seventy from the default, but recently I put it up to again. I think I put it up to eighty. And I'll probably increase that. That's a shock. <laughs> oh, jeez. Absolute shocker. Uh, lucky it wasn't four wide or five wides down down to the boundary. But I think I'll probably put it up even higher because I like I like it being quick as this one. Oh, how was that not a catch? <laughs> oh, man. Aaron, what was, where was Aaron Finch batting? Obviously, he wasn't opening, which is very, very strange. Uh, he's two or three. Um in the uh, ninth over here, but yeah, I've got the pace bowling up, and it just, it just makes the game so much funner, like, it, the pace bowlers, it actually seems quick, the bouncers actually zip through, and they can be pretty, pretty vicious, if they're, they're a good bouncer, done with some pace, again, it's flicked up, not gonna carry, but not, uh, not bad bowling here, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just better, like, there's benefits and negatives, like, or well, not benefits and negatives, but, like, it can make it, well, not easier, but if, like, you time a quick, like, if there's a short ball come in and you time it well, like, it's going to fly because it's it's a quick delivery. Um, but then it makes it harder in the sense that it's quicker, so you've got to be, you got to be on your game with your reactions. But then it also makes, like, slow or, like, off-speed deliveries, cutters, just genuine, sl gen genuine slow balls much more dangerous because it actually it is way slow like it feels slower like on the default pace like it, you really don't notice a difference in the speeds like i don't really notice any difference but um yeah it doesn't really change too much as we come out here 250s we uh 
we're in a bit of a bit of a tough spot. One for seven. Um, again, we just. I mean, I like getting in early, but I wouldn't mind if the opener sort of, <laughs> you know, did a bit of a job up the top here. We just can't get off to any any good start with the openers. Um, but I guess I mean we come in, and it's always Bancroft who's uh, who's a steady man up the other end. As this one has played through the gap, going to pick up a couple. We're chasing, I mean, it's about, what they get, like 160, 170? So it's not, it's, it's probably about, it's an even ball game. Uh, that's what I'll say. It's an even ball game. Um, and uh, we just have to bat how we have been, honestly. Hopefully we can do something similar. A couple of, couple of very nice 50s already. Just couldn't quite go on with it, which is annoying. Uh, it's always annoying when you get it, you, you feel feel good, like the ball is just whizzing off the bat. Uh, the bowls aren't bowling great. <laughs> it always feels annoying when you get out for like that 50, 60 mark when you, you know you probably should have gone on to get a, get a big score, but I mean, that's, that's the way T20 works, especially even if you're in good touch, like it just takes one, one false shot and also the, the pressure of scoring, like you've got to keep going when you're in that frame of mind as, uh, again, this inning's just trouble, it's struggling to just find the gap. In the last couple of games, we just found the gap with absolute ease as uh, this one over-pitched. And that's sort of our, that's honestly our bread and butter shot at the minute. The pull shot is always going to be, but this sort of just, uh, I always call it like the golf swing shot over long on there. That's sort of been our, our trademark at the moment as the short ball comes in. It's, uh, it's, it's hit well, but it's straight down the throat of the fielder. Can you believe it? Oh, no. Oh, that's a bit of overconfidence at its best right there. I knew the man was there, but look at that. I've hit it. I've smoked it. It's, it's obviously, a, it's a big boundary, that's for sure. I think I, I did try to get it finer, but I hit it directly. He didn't even move. He literally didn't move a muscle. Uh, and it looks like we have gone down. We lose by 25, so that is not good. It's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, unfortunately. But uh, Pereira there doing a nice job in match short. So hopefully, guys, enjoyed. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.